Russell Tours has been providing hiking tours and guidance to hikers for over 40 years, originally started by my father, Bill Russell, now taken over by his family. This is a way for you to go hiking on your own in a beautiful country. We like to focus on the Alps. We do hike in other areas, but we find this area to be the most dramatic. One of our favorite uh, routes to go on is the Hot Route. This is an area from Chamonix to Zermatt. We like to focus on the Walker's Route. And usually our clients start in Geneva. And in Geneva, they fly into the airport there. And the airport provides uh, simple transportation directly to Chamonix. Or in some cases, people like to stay over and they stay at the uh, Hotel uh, Dalibs. It's a lovely hotel and it's right near uh, the beautiful river and antique area of Geneva. In the morning, you can take a shuttle for about $40 a person over to Chamonix. And uh, Chamonix is a short two, two and a half hour ride. You can take trains, but they require multiple stops to get there. The uh, Hotel Heliopic is the area we like to stay in. This is a lovely hotel. It is in the center of town next to the uh, Jews uh, uh, Agil de Midi cable car that goes to the top and also is central to a lot of the uh, town. We like to go for a walk and get our legs stretched out in the beginning. Over here on the left side of the trail, you'll see uh, a, a little trail that runs up to the side. And what that does is it gives you a chance for you to get used to the altitude. And what I want you to see here is that this trail takes you to view the Algue Belt, but more directly, the uh, beautiful Algue de Druze, which is a magnificent mountain path. And uh, you can start right downtown, right near the hotel, and walk out. You can also see here, this is the a uh, cable car to go up to the top of Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc is the uh, main mountain here for skiing that people go on. And uh, you can see the cable car mid, uh, mid center there. And uh, it goes up from there. And up at the very top is the uh, Guille de Midi uh, viewing towers, which is a wonderful ride. It does get quite busy, but it's quite exciting. If you do plan to do that, we should work with you to get there properly. It would be something you'd want to do very early in the morning. So our goal here is to help you understand what our kind of tour we offer you and the kind of tools we give you to use, like these 3D mountain tools that, for example, is Google Earth here where we've laid in our track. And uh, I want to show you quickly the trails and how to get there. So Chamonix is a valley, has the left-hand side, which is where the Tour de Mont Blanc runs along the left-hand side of this valley. And you can also walk up and out of the valley to start the trip to the Walker's Hot Route, which is from Chamonix to Trion. And Chamonix to Trion is a lovely little hike. It's about uh, uh, five hours, uh, depending on how you do it, six hours, 12 miles. And uh, the alternate route we like is the other side of the valley. And the other side of the valley is a little shorter. And what you do is you take the cable car up uh, to where the Refuge de la Fleguerre is. And from there you can see uh, the trail and move all the way across this area uh, along this ridge. So there's really two ways to go in and out of uh, the valley. The alternate route starts at the top of the ski lift, and then you can walk along this ridge, saving you having to walk up that valley at the end. When you look at this valley here, and again, on your own screen and much closer in, you can literally see the different ski areas and the opportunity 
to take lifts if you get tired. For example, at the end here coming up out of this valley, you can go up to the top of the Col de Blam and then walk down into Trion. And Trion has a lovely number of opportunities to enjoy the scenery and a beautiful valley. We like to stay at the Hotel de Focage and uh, Foglas, and this is a lovely old family-run hotel. It is uh, built in the 1800s and run by the same family. Now, one of the challenges, most of these remote cabin hotels are unfortunately only available uh, in a setting that is with uh, dormitory style staying. So if you don't book early or if you're trying to get in the, the, the core times, you're not competing against other Americans. You're competing against the Europeans who have been doing this for years. Now, when you wake up in the morning from the Trion uh, station, you would then be able to walk out the lower route here. It takes you along the beautiful valley, and this is incredible uh, uh, track that takes you down. But it is an additional hour or so, hour and a half. And what it does is it takes you right across the glacier. And there's really nothing like it to see that. Although the other walk is fine, has the more altitude up and down. Uh, this one really is dramatic where you go right up across the glacier. There is a bit of a hike up and down. Again, we give you the altitudes. We give you the timing and uh, how high and how low and so forth. All of these walks are in the easy to moderate. There's nothing that is uh, difficult in any of the hikes we offer. That's what the hot route, walker's route is. So then in uh, Lake Champex, uh, you get to a beautiful area, and we like to stay at the Hotel Splendide. And uh, the Hotel Splendide uh, is a uh, great hotel. Uh, it offers, a, again, incredible views of the valley. It is designed uh, to show you a setting. Here's an example of your hotel room. You can see the beautiful setting there. So the Hotel Splendide is a real French hotel, serves you all the proper uh, dining and setting. Now you're, you're in Switzerland here, but you are actually still on the French side of Switzerland. Now, when you go to leave this, you're going to go to Verbier next. And in, on your way to Verbier, you have really two tracks to go out of town. We like the northern route up here along the left-hand side. Down through the valley is fine. You'll find more people on the lower track. And the one along the left-hand side is a little more gentle. You're not quite doing the switchbacks that you can see here by the road in the middle here. So this then takes you around uh, saint bracur and you're going to go and end up at the Le Chable. Now, Le Chable is uh, uh, the area where you get up to Verbier from. Uh, and Le Chable is uh, this uh, little... Uh, stop which takes you across to Verbier. So Verbier is a, a, a city that's kind of up in the hills and uh, we like to go stay at the Hotel Bristol. Uh, the Bristol Hotel is a lovely Swiss type hotel, very well, very clean, very nice, all the amenities you want. And so when you go up this area, you start at Le Chable and you take the cable car across the valley. You can of course walk but there's only road here. You can see the switchback of the road. Uh, there is a far right-hand uh, tour to go around. Uh, unfortunately, otherwise there's cliffs. There's not really a good track to get in here. Uh, Verbier is a beautiful city up on a hill and has some great hiking. You can see the ski areas here. The ski lifts are abundant. There's lots of little villages and places to go all the way out to have tremendous views. If you have extra time or you have time to spend, we recommend an extra day in Verbier. It's a lovely setting, and there's lots of great hiking and tremendous uh, little restaurants and beautiful little uh, refugios. In our walker's guide, the tour, we take a, usually it's a nine to 12 day, sometimes 14 day tour. And the first thing that we wanna do is go across from Verbier to Montfort. And this is showing you going up to the Montfort, and there is also the uh, caban that you would be staying at here. Beautiful stone caban. Most of these cabans are pretty rustic. They are mostly dorm style staying. So once you get out of the city, 
they can be pretty, uh, you know, pretty rough. However, it's the kind of setting you won't find anywhere else in the world. And of course, the views are the thing that people just love. When you look at uh, what this looks like from where you're standing, you're overlooking the world, as you can see here. So then we go uh, on to the next caban and uh, we track uh, the areas uh, to Caban uh, Preflorier. And uh, so we then continue on to the Caban Preflorier. And again, this is another one of those beautiful little inns that's run by what we call a commander. And you should be checking if you're at the end of the season or the beginning with the weather, uh, because often you can see these snow fields Sometimes you can get a complete dump. This is year-round snow that you're looking at here. I do recommend that you wear heavy boots or bring heavy boots. I don't think you can get away with sneakers every day. Although I will tell you, the Europeans hold a marathon here, and they run the entire distance in about three days, 120 miles. So that's an amazing thing. Another thing to note is you can drop into these places from the street. You don't have to do the whole tour. So if you don't have the time, you can see here, for example, at the head of the dam, this is the Dix Dam, that you can take a vehicle up the valley, and there's buses and all kinds of ways in and out. There's also a hiking tour along the top of this ridge to another hotel at the other end. But we like to continue to the to the what we call the pièce de résistance here, and that is this beautiful mountain uh, overlooking where the cabin Dix is located, and. Uh, uh, the cabin Dix is down here, uh, beautiful looking, a little uh, cabin, and it uh, is just a magnificent uh, place for uh, the setting. It's really hard to believe. You can see right here beside it, there is the glacier that's melting away, unfortunately. And then when you go for the next day, you're going to go either up and over or down and around. Now, the up and over is the view. And that is the most dramatic. So if it's a lovely day, you highly recommend it. Yes, you're walking in a snow field. It should be hard and frozen. It shouldn't be any problem. If it's a snowy day or a whiteout day, do not do that route. And the commander will advise you. You would do the lower route. There's several variations of the lower route, which we can help direct you. The upper route is much longer, but it's just way more impressive. Uh, my daughter says it was her favorite spot of the whole world. As you can see, you're above just about everything here. You can see uh, uh, Zermatt, and uh, you can also go all the way back and see Mont Blanc. So you're really looking at the world uh, at a level that's hard to believe. And, uh, you know, you're up at 12,500 feet, 13,000 feet, and uh, you're as high as you can get walking without oxygen, really. And uh, then you walk down into Arola, and uh, we uh, go to stay at the Hotel Glacier. Uh, it's a beautiful, lovely little hotel. Again, one of these 18th century kind of buildings. It's a classic Swiss hotel uh, offering real services and food and so forth. So you'll have a lovely evening there and in the morning a nice breakfast. And then we continue on to Arola, and there are several ways up the valley. And I offer them only because uh, these are what people have shown are the best different ways in and out of this area. Uh, be aware that Arola has uh, some ladders, which you'll have to climb. These are steel ladders. They're about uh, 50 feet of ladder that you will go up to get into this village. Uh, it's not something that uh, you can get around. It's not an easy hike. It's something that is there. It's part of that tour. So it's probably the most difficult area of the Dix cabin and so forth. So then you can decide if you want to kind of veer off, if you have more time. There's a little restaurants. I'm trying to zoom in to pick them up. They're not popping right this second. But so the idea is that you can take several variations. You can see the red lines here. Those are ski areas. And then there's thousands of little trails. There's just trails everywhere. The Swiss have made trails all over the mountains. And you're on your way here in this case, eventually to get to Zenal and the hotel boutique, uh, you know, Hotel de la Sage uh, is um, our next stop. And again, this is another classic Swiss hotel. And uh, we're going across some beautiful valleys and up across some reservoirs. 
And this is not difficult hiking, but you know, you're talking about a full day of hiking. This is uh, uh, a two day run through here for most people, 11 miles, uh, five hours. Again, uh, each one of these is a section. Uh, Iboline to Sinel, Irola to Iboline. So uh, you really need to uh, think about what you're doing in your tour. And that's what we try to do is figure out what kind of shape you're in, what kind of interest you have, and how comfortable you are with how far to go. Um, I just want to back up a little bit here. The uh, Ebeline to Zenal is 11 miles, and then the other one would be 11 miles. So you're really talking about uh, a 22 mile run between Arola and Zenal. And then we get to the hotel. Um, uh, Quintins. This is a lovely hotel, and uh, it's something that uh, you can then stay there and go on from uh, this hotel to, uh, you can see it here in a winter setting. Again, lovely little area. And uh, then we go north from there the next day uh, on our way uh, to two tracks here. One is to go to Grubin, but the other is to take a side route for another day and go up to uh, this lovely little area north of uh, uh, north of us. And uh, when you're in the Surlac area, there's another beautiful uh, inn that's along there in the ridge. And then you come out the next day. So there's another caban right here, caban de Bella. <laughs> and uh, you've got uh, uh, all kinds of ski area there you can see, chairlifts and so forth. So then you walk that loop out and go to the Hotel Schwarzhorn. Now the Schwarzhorn has been around since the 1800s. It's a lovely old hotel. Again, most of these function with dorm rooms. They do have private rooms, but they get taken very quickly. So please understand it's not something we have a lot of control over. So then the day, the next day, you go along, and again, we can get into the detail of each hike and what it takes to do each hike and how long they are. We have this all detailed in our files, and uh, some days longer than others, and we can adjust this according to your hiking style. Uh, really a matter of number of days where you go next. So if you're going to go as a seven or eight day, you're going to come down to St. Nicholas, take the tram down into uh, Zermatt. If not, you want to continue on the Euro way and you want to go to the Hotel uh, uh, Zumsi. And the Hotel Zumsi, again, another classic Swiss hotel on the lake. It's just a lovely setting. And then walk along the Euro track and Euro way uh, along that ridge. So rather than being on a tram coming down, you're going to take a, a, a walk for 11 miles and go on the Euro way all the way down to the Charles Kunin Suspension Bridge. This is one of the largest suspension bridges in the world. And if you're going to go here, we highly recommend that you do this. Uh, people have said it's one of the neatest things they've done. You're gonna go across a huge valley and you can see the straight area here, which would show that in 3D, uh, what is that, what that looks like. And, uh, So then your next day you're going to go to the, or that day you're going to go to uh, the Europa Wag, uh, which is the uh, Euro hut, uh, hut there, and then continue on down all the way to uh, Zermatt. So once in Zermatt, again, there's all kinds of variations of trails here you can see. You can take the trail down to Tosh, and take the tram into Zermatt if you wish, or continue on this wonderful way. You kind of come into the ski area, and uh, you're in uh, Zermatt at this point, and then we recommend uh, we're staying at the uh, hotel base camp, which is uh, a lovely hotel. And the hotel base camp is uh, right in the city. 
Zermatt, if you want to call it a city, it's a lovely place. If you're a little larger group staying more than one day, we have private accommodations the hotel provides us, which is a uh, private two, four, six bedroom apartment, which is overlooking and looking right at uh, the Matterhorn, which is right there. As you can see, the Matterhorn in all of its glory. So you have this tremendous opportunity. We hope that you'll take the time to contact us and work with us. Uh, Russell Tours has been around for a long time, and we're looking forward to helping you with your journey. Thank you.